Greetings, fellow scavengers! Welcome back to Dusker's Daily Challenge for September 27, 2019. It's currently my channel's a second anniversary, and I didn't really provide anything special this year because um, remember that one time where I used to mention about uh, my plan about um, accumulating people's players. Uh, wait, people's players? What the frick? <coughs> daily players uh, scores and stuff with not exactly score like their ranks and stuff to see who gets to be the best player of the year or something but mm, sadly I still haven't gotten around to finishing that so yeah it's gonna be delayed <coughs> I honestly haven't really updated it since uh, last May oh my god that's so long holy crap what have I done <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be done soon but not really that soon because I'm already also be occupied with the real life stuff that involves math, which is, is something that I love. But once you get the formula wrong, you kind of have to start it from the beginning, in which I'm going to do today. <laughs> so yeah, for that, that's why I decided to play Duskers early, so that the stress reliever will be in the early run, basically. In which yeah, LB hasn't really recorded his for this date as of now because yeah the delay just reset and all that so today we got no install chip upgrades and sense server scouting upgrade with 330 for 300 hp in total um 30 points above average drone hp but a abby has the last drone hp so yeah uh, we're currently on a military a with only one investigation type minimal integrity and falls out age <laughs> That's it. That is right. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, another swarm, huh? Wait. Oh yeah, this one. Is this Tobal? That's not Tobal. But I can do this and opening that airlock just because. This is kind of risky. Oh. Oh, okay. There's apparently an infestation over there. Wonder if I can just put a sensor here. Oh! Okay. So there's a fan here. There's, oh, there's a second generator right here. Mm. Actually, I'm pretty interested to just. <sighs> this is gonna be a race against time. What's this? Oh, stun! That could be helpful. Wait, no. Yeah. I probably should uh, power this generator first. Yeah, let's do that. And this was opened. I'm just gonna decide to go to room six um, or room, or room six much later because I can still at least try to go to D16. Yeah, that's the ship defense, which we will use when, once we find the powers and stuff. Ah, the fuel access. Uh, uh, this week's uh, weekly challenge has been really, really tough. Uh, lack of transporter. Okay, thank you. I'm still not, not 
going to be able to use the generator until the fence spawns. So yeah, just going to have to do this thing. I'm going to... gonna have to put those swarms in the same room, whatever that room is really. I'm gonna expect it in, in that uh, defense room to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna have to delay this sadly. Defense gonna spawn soon. Good. Alright, just talk back to me. Also open D9 and D19 in case. There's going to be a closed door or something. Okay, uh, stun. Stun could do actually to to put the fence, the fence forms here, but then that's gonna risk your uh, drone to get stunned as well, as far as I'm aware. But yeah, kind of a bad idea, so yeah, I'm gonna have to delay it sadly. So yeah. Wonder, I wonder. And if okay, if the swarm spawns, I can put them at room four, and this is the history. But not much of a movement for now. So basically, I'm just gonna have to train this. Uh... What is this in English? Not sure. Ah, fermented milk or something, but it's like basically in this one small 65 milliliter bottle, like very very tiny and cute as well. Well, here comes the waiting game. I'm not really confident to use the stun again because I haven't really experiment experimented on using it that much to pro to properly use it. I think it does work the same as mine, but. I just really haven't bothered to uh, check it around or something. Oh man, if room to get radiated, and we're gonna have to wait for that one thing to spawn. I don't know, man. So time shows 5:45. All right, no radiation. In the meantime, because uh, the queue is usually gonna occur in uh, uh, 550 when you're in drone view and 555 if you're in cinematic view. That's the reason why I switched the view bit right there. Man. <laughs> Fence bonds take its sweetest time. And after that, I have to make a mental note in my head because I don't have my smartphone that has its uh, time lapping feature. So I have to worry in case there will be a second spawn in room 6. May as well to just equip the stun, huh? Actually, put this down at room two. When the second, mm, I don't know, when the second swarm spawns at room six, and I can uh, go back as soon as possible. Uh, still risky, actually. Not gonna bother with it as of yet. Not that I know uh, if room eight and this room has the swarm or not, because it does have an open door there. But then, military A. We found our two first uh, swarm badges, our first two rather, so I'm not sure if others still have it. So far we only find three airlocks and still have no interface, yeah. Yeah, no interface so far, wow.
this room. Room four. So it actually shows egg 23. Time, but I'm just gonna open the egg tin in case they have spawned. Switch the interface with stun temporarily and then see how much swarms they will. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna close the egg tin. Time shows nine. Nine minutes, but still. No swarm to be found yet. around nine nine minutes 950 rather holy crap that's one of the latest friend spotters ever and then I have to open this room temporarily just to see how many swarms up there are if I can see it of course <laughs> because this can be heck of tricky wait why does it not notify me that the... Uh, why does it not notify me that the stun has been triggered? That's weird. Because I've been kind of relying on the console itself. Okay. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but yeah. That means I have no idea how many swarms there are. So, yeah. That's enough of that show. I tentatively have to put the stun here. In case the storm still decides to spawn and we'll raise my drone to get stunned in the meantime, but whatever. Okay. Mm, just gonna look the forward thing while we're trying to explore via this room. Actually, should worry. Actually, no, I should not. All right, so hmm, this is the next generator, apparently. With defense and all that, mm, let's close all D17, D7, D4. Gotta get at least one big boy right there. Not exactly big boys, those are tiny, yet really, really dangerous boys. Close the doors, activate the defense, hey, you got ship scan! Except we only get this one, and since we don't really have... You know what? Oh, I was about to spare you, but okay. Yeah, you're only 10, jeez. That could be one of the bloodiest seen ever but yeah not so proud of my timing especially with the lead fence spawn but it works like that but yeah apparently one thing that I learned this mission that is that apparently when it's done uh, stun, stun gets activated 
uh, detonated rather it doesn't really show the ah i think that's the reason why i got confused the stun did uh detonate and room 4 doesn't get triggered room 4 sensor i mean in which yeah that kind of makes that was the reason why i got a little bit confused in that time itself so i was like oh, well what the hell why the sensor it get uh yeah apparently that's why stun did eventually stun the swarm and i didn't notice that in the first place but yeah that's the score uh be sure to check the interface to get that one extra scrap bsa yeah uh cheers for watching looking forward for us uh going to run this mission really so yeah